following contest scheduled for one fall. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the club. It's bell time. My name is Drew Kazoo, joined at this time by Mark Green and Donnie Wonderful, and uh, we are in for an absolute treat right now. We thought this is a showcase of two of the best young talents in New England. These two will be stars, mark my words. One is already well on his way, the other doesn't get enough attention, but he absolutely should, and that's the man I'm talking about right here, Channing Thomas. Right. Absolutely, and I right. think that's what this match is all about. The natural Channing Thomas, nothing but momentum. Oh, yeah. He's been chalking up victory after victory, but I gotta, I gotta say, in my own opinion, I think that this is his biggest challenge to date, and uh, on a very grand stage here at Fenway Park, Channing Thomas yes, definitely is. has something to prove. Yes, it is. I feel like we have the hottest ticket in town and the best seat available. This is gonna be great. Yeah, this is when I looked at this card, this was the match I was perhaps most excited to see. Such a conflict of styles. Two so talented young athletes just hungry and fighting for supremacy here tonight. This isn't about titles, this is about making your name. Absolutely. And I think uh, the onus on that again is on the natural Channing Thomas. Christian Casanova now is a bona fide professional wrestling superstar. No doubt about it, he has held titles everywhere. Little known fact perhaps, Drew, his first singles title was at one at the Bell Time Club as part of ECW. Wow. Wow. And he has come a long way since that time. He also has competed at Fenway Park before in the past, teaming with yes, Slick Wagner Brown. Absolutely, in their victory over the closers. And in 2017, he beat the then chaotic champion Elia Markopoulos in a non-title match. And of course he would go on later to capture the chaotic title himself. Yes, oh, yeah. indeed. Oh, yeah. You mentioned that styles make great matches. This is gonna be another great one here. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian Casanova is fresh off competing for Ring of Honor. This guy is going to be a star in very, very short order. From anywhere but Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. Weighing at 217 pounds. He's naturally gifted. He's naturally talented. He is the first generation superstar, the natural King Thomas. Wow, what an intro. What an intro. I can tell you what's not natural, and it's his hair color. <laughs> you think? I don't know. Looks good on him. Wow. Look at this now. Channing Thomas chawing with the Bell Time Club faithful here. He needs to save that aggression for the ring. His opponent's thin. Not outside. Not a good sign early off the bat to see him frazzled as such. Channing Thomas told me before the match he is, in his mind, the most famous Channing in the world. Mm. Wow. That's a tall order. Well, let's do the rundown. In 2018, Channing Thomas won the Fenway Invitational. It's a series of uh, fatal four-way matches in the last one, beating Vern by Callow, Sammy Diaz, and Kellen Thomas. Uh, right now, of course, back in, oh, so, sorry, Mark, I was just say, back in February, he beat Toto Loco in singles competition. Then in April, a victory over D.L. Hurst, and most recently, a Millbury Mass. A victory in a non-title match over Tessa Strength champion Dan the Man. So he's just racking up victories. He has a nice little stroll going on. Both of these guys so talented on the map, but both can fly too. So this is going to be a very interesting contest to see how they attack each other. Absolutely. We've seen Channing Thomas put one opponent after another away with that 450 splash. We've also seen him eat some canvas several times trying that 450 splash. Indeed, indeed. Let's not forget about the frog splash of Kristen Casanova. Absolutely. 
And here we go. Just I, I got to tell you guys, when it comes to Christian Casanova, I remember seeing him show up to shows to do ring crew. Mm. I was there. For, I've seen this kid since the beginning of his career. And to see how far he's come and how fast he's done it is truly impressive. Well, you talk about paying dues, and both of these men have paid dues a hundred times over. Oh, for sure. Oh, went for that arm drag takeover. Got enough of it. He's got that arm bar locked in now, cranking it. Oh, yeah. Immobilize the arms. Best way to break down an opponent. That Sharon Thomas grabbing that hair now, sending Casanova back to the corner. And he's going to whip him out to the other side. Casanova up and over. Rolls through. And big arm drag takeover. And another one. And Casanova's on fire right now. Putting on a show here for the uh, Bell Time Club faithful. It is a Casanova clinic here at Fenway Park. It definitely is. It definitely is. He's dominated this match at the offset. You know, I love, love, love the strategy he has. Please continue to work that arm and mobilize your opponent, and the victory will come easier after that. But Chad Thomas is a tough competitor. And he snuck that knee in there to break the hold, and now has taken control, but Casanova reverses and sends Thomas into the corner. Oh, looks like Thomas went for the boot. Casanova caught him, and now he's got... Uh-oh, watch out here. Oh, that's oh. kicked to the back of the head. Trying to pull himself up now. Oh! oh. Springboard leg drop. Into it's the cover. Night. All wow. he could get. Thomas might be knocked silly after that. He is putting you on You alluded to before. Christian Casanova has broke out, so to speak. Oh, went for that scissors kick. He's used. Oh! Wow. Beautiful spine buster by Channing Thomas. He nailed him with it. That was shades of Arn Anderson with Absolutely. that spine buster. Woo. Knocked but, the wind out of him. So I was saying before, uh, Christian Casanova, like we said, like you alluded to earlier, Mark, uh, has broke out, so to speak. Uh, much more primetime spots, Ring of Honor. Bonafide wrestling superstar. I think Channing Thomas wants to prove that he is on the same level. That's same a, level of talent. That's a great point, Drew. I think Channing Thomas looks at Christian Casanova and sees everything he wants to be and is jealous and angry that he's not getting those same opportunities. Well, this is a showcase to prove that he's worth it. Absolutely. And what bigger of a showcase and what bigger of a stage, a grander stage can you get than right here at Fenway Park? Absolutely. And there's a reason Christian Casanova is known as top talent everywhere he goes. And he is trying to show that here at Fenway Park one more time. We talked about it. He has had great success in his history here at Fenway Park. Wow! Into the cover. Two. Almost had him. I thought he got him there. He flew halfway across the ring with that springboard cutter. And you ran through the resumes. Uh, both of these men have had tremendous success in their showings here at Fenway Park so far. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. That's what makes this contest so great. It's literally a 50-50 match. Channing Thomas had murderous intent with that clothesline right there. Oh, big stiff uppercut. European style. Oh, he's starting to lose it. And you look, at, you, you look at Channing Thomas. He looks frustrated already. He looks rattled. I talked earlier. The jealousy of the of the success Christian Casanova has had, I think it is having an effect on the mind of Channing Thomas. Absolutely. Let's see how that plays out. And, you know, Christian Casanova, smart competitor. Let's see how he capitalizes on that. And I got to ask you, fellas, with the, uh, you know, the momentum that Channing Thomas has been experiencing, if he beats Christian Casanova today here at Fenway Park, is it safe to say that he's in line for a shot at the Bell Time Club Championship, oh, oh, the El Mundo absolutely. Championship? Absolutely. It would have to catapult him up. I mean, he's on a long victory road since uh, you've read down his resume. Absolutely. This man has accumulated several wins this year. He has to have be uh, the top contender spot after this. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Drew. I think it's even more, more so than the El Mundo Championship, and I'm sure that is a focus. But I think this is about sending a message to the wrestling world at large for Channing Thomas that, hey, you guys all worship at the feet of Christian Casanova. I'm here too, and I'm just as good. Wow. And he's proven that to us right now. Impressive showing. And he rolls backwards. A little bit of showmanship there. Reminding the Bell Time Club faithful, oh, oh that no. he is the natural. Ace Missing the buckle. Big clothesline. And Christian wow. Casanova so quick line. on his feet. 
I think that's one of those things that sets him apart. Look at that tilt to where hits in the takeover. Has him double underhook. Variation this on the butterfly. Has him into the cover. Shoulder wow. might have been up there. Referee G was on top of it, but I'm not sure she might have missed that one. That was vintage Kristen Casanova right there, but uh, couldn't get the three count with it. And Christian might be looking to fly here. All he's he has to do is just goal. remain patient and stick to his game plan. He has this match under control thus far, man. Waiting for Channing Thomas to get up. Maybe that scissor kick. Who knows? He's got such a vast repertoire. Who knows what Christian Casanova's going for? It is the scissors kick. Thomas out of the way. Boots to the midsection. Has him hooked. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. big jumping pile. Pile driver. That could be it. That could be it. That could be damaging the neck of Casanova. That's there it. There it is. Wow. 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 What a shocker. And just like that, with the pile driver, Channing Thomas has defeated Christian Casanova here at Fenway Park. Unbelievable. Wow. The win streak continues. Goodness. And I think that he has proved that point that we were talking about earlier, that he is on the same level as Christian Casanova. And he does deserve to break through and be in that high-profile spot that Christian Casanova is. He just proved it right here to the Bell Time Club faithful at Fenway Park and to the world. Absolutely. I, I you know, I sung the praises of Shannon Thomas. I'm not, I mean, I'm a little bit in shock, not necessarily at the fact that Shannon Thomas won the match, but at how decisive it was. And oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, and he hits that back kick to the midsection. And now yeah. there's the scissors kick. And Casanova kicks him out, much to the delight of the fans here at El Mundo. I'll tell you what, he may have lost the match here tonight, but Christian Casanova reminding us all why he is still top talent. Absolutely. Well, unbelievable turn of events here, folks, but a fantastic match and a fantastic Afternoon of professional wrestling action. My name is Drew Kazoo from Mark Green and Donnie Wonderful. We will see you next time.